Mr. The gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Moran. Gentleman recognized. Two minutes. Thank you, my friend. Inspiration on the Armed Services Committee. I oppose this bill. It would send a message to the world that the United States can disregard international treaties and law and instead do as it pleases. For generations, we have been the beacon to guide the actions of other nations. If we descend from the high moral ground, we are in effect losing ground to the terrorists. Secretary of State Colin Powell was so accurate when he said part of this war on terror is an ideological and political struggle. Our moral posture is our best weapon to prevail in that struggle. Mr. Speaker, this is not a good bill. Since its inception, the Geneva Conventions, 60 years ago, no other country in the world has taken such a drastic measure as this bill would. For enemy combatants, the bill eliminates the right of habeas corpus. It's a right enshrined in our Constitution that may be abandoned only, and I quote, when in cases of rebellion or invasion, the public safety may require it. The elimination of habeas is not just illegal, it's flat out wrong. The purpose of habeas corpus is simple. It's to avoid injustice, to avoid the detention by government of any individual that is erroneous, unwarranted, or in violation of law. This purpose and the values from which it stems do not distinguish among individuals or circumstances. They seek to avoid any injustice to any detained individuals. All Americans want to hold terrorists accountable, but if we try to redefine the nature of torture, whisk people into secret detention facilities, and use secret evidence to convict them in special courts, our actions do in fact embolden our enemies more than any extremist rhetoric could ever do. This bill needs to be defeated. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman from